What is up YouTube? Johnny B here again today and we are going to be working on this FRS here. We're going to be installing a Vortex supercharger with the intercooler and it's going to also get a Jackson Racing uh, radiator and oil cooler combo thing that's going to be installed to kind of keep the, help, the, help keep the temps down. So let me show you guys the kit and uh, let's get to installing it or taking the car apart. So here is the Vortec kit. I got everything out of the boxes, laid it all out. Here is the centrifugal supercharger. We got the air box, the piping, uh, a lot of like the hose clamps and vacuum lines, a bunch of uh, little fittings here that are for teeing and bolts and whatnot. So all the hardware, new belt, because the old belt's not gonna work with the, with the supercharger, it has to be a much longer one. All the bracketry for that. Uh, we have a little container oil for the supercharger, the intercooler, and down here is the oil cooler setup because you can see it's a it's actually a CSF radiator, which looks like they just chopped and modified to add the oil cooler to it. And then you get two AN lines that, um, that are going to hook up to this sandwich adapter. Pretty interesting how that works. I've never actually installed one of these. I've heard about them, but I never cared to even own one. So this is kind of interesting. The The way they mount, I'm guessing is the same. So that means that this would be a shorter radiator if they add this little chunk of oil cooler here. So I don't know if that means that it would lower efficiency in the radiator, but Apparently it works, so I guess there's no reason to complain about it. So let's start taking that apart so we can go ahead and install this thing right here. This thing's huge. It looks like a huge turbo. Like that. All right, let's get it installed. We have a full manual here that we can kind of go over. So the front end is all taken apart. We had to take out the radiator because obviously we're gonna be upgrading it. We took out the AC condenser at the same time because it had a little bit of damage. So we're gonna be replacing that with a brand new one, recharging the AC system. And look at it, it's completely empty. I think it's cool and it might be a lot easier to work on the car without the radiator. But if you're not planning on replacing it, I wouldn't suggest removing it. It'll be a little bit more difficult, but it makes a mess. Look at all that coolant on the floor. Right, so we have the instructions here. It's telling me we need to shave some stuff there. We need this bracket to install, which is nice that it comes like in a little kit. I try to keep it all together. Uh, the bolt that's most likely gonna replace it is this one, because this is the actual alternator bolt, and it looks exactly the same, apart from being a little bit longer, which accounts for the thickness of this, I believe. So the alternator's off, that part got shaved down. We're gonna do the install of this. And that's, this is gonna be one of the mounting points for the supercharger itself. So it's gonna be a, a nice solid base. And I like that the FRS has have this because I'm able to use it as a little table as I sit in my little wheel cart. So let's get this bracket installed. And I don't know, I can't wait. I wanna see the supercharger just right there. Take a couple pictures. It is bothering me that the engine's a little bit dirty. So, but I don't know how good it's gonna clean up. The engine's got 100,000 miles. And that's been on there for a while, but it'll it'll look good regardless with all the new stuff. So I decided to clean it, put some degreaser and just kind of pressure washed it. Most of it off. A lot of it is on there really, really badly, but this looks a lot better than it was before. And I'm gonna feel a little bit nicer, you know, touching everything that it's not gonna get all over my hands. And that way, when I go to take some pictures after the kit's installed, it's gonna look much, much nicer. So we got the supercharger installed. It's all mounted. I put Loctite on all the bolts that are holding the supercharger to the engine. 
and uh, these little brackets as well. So that one that we put for the alternators grabbing the top here and then we have this one that was bolted to the bolts that hold in the AC and then they have like a spacer with a longer bolt that holds onto this pulley and this pulley here. Some of the next steps to keep installing the supercharger where to mount the intercooler and to mount the intercooler you have to have the bash bar or the factory crash bar and uh, i didn't want to install it until we got the radiator on just because it's going to make it so much more simple to do because normally it's quite the pain with these uh, pieces of metal and then now having the supercharger there's not really any space having this hose here so the easiest way to do it to install the new radiator was to not have the the crash bar and the headlights are being a little loose you can kind of move them out of the way sit the, the radiator where it goes and kind of just like lean it lean it back and it gets right into right into place so one of the things that was stopping me was getting the ac condenser but we got that in got a brand new one because the old one worked but it had a it was like dented so it's better to just replace it gonna look a lot cleaner under here got all the hardware mounted up got the AC lines put in so we're gonna have to charge the AC later on and the, the oil cooler was installed as well so you see it's basically the same thing as your typical oil cooler but it's in the radiator so it's like it takes up like this half so the CSF core is actually a bit shorter and you have an AN line that goes here kind of like has a little little swoop around here comes up same thing for the bottom one it hooks up right underneath the radiator hose so we got those hooked up all we need now is a filter and that should be done my only concern is this is uh, a bracket to hold the intake so I wonder how the intake is gonna fit with this so I try to twist it move the, the hoses that way so we have like the biggest chance of actually clearing um, the, the air box that's gonna go with the Supercharger. So with the condenser and I was able to put the crash bar and now we have the inner cooler mounted as well. It gets bolted under here and it's got like a little bracket that holds onto this OEM bracket that kind of just like sits on it. It's kind of interesting, but it fits perfectly right underneath the factory crash bar. And then also in the process, I went ahead and used their crazy little con contraption for the windshield washer and it just reuses the motor down here and then it modifies the hose. Kind of interesting. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to help with. I'm guessing it's maybe the piping just so you don't have to um, delete it. So that's kind of cool that they, they add that. So I'm guessing the piping goes through here. So I'm not on that chapter of the instructions, but I guess the next part is though, is that to do the piping because everything is pretty much installed. So we just gotta do all of the piping and we'll be just that much closer to being done. It's getting late, so I was really cranking down on it. Got all the rest of the piping in. Then I went ahead and threw the filter on. There's like little, little extra things that I need to do that were down there that I did already. It's just like a little, uh, it's like a little valve to let some of the pressure out. There's a hose that connects to this goes loops around and it hooks up to the original um, breather system for the engine. 
the rear breather needs this little attachment. It's kind of like a, it's a one-way valve. So it's meant to stop the boost here and it only breathes this way. It doesn't let it put boost into the engine, which is what you don't want. This little T was put here on the brake booster. So just like I do on the turbo kits, uh, it comes with that same exact T and then you get a little line that goes to that valve down there, which you can, you can replace for a blow off valve. Uh, later on down the down the road so that'd be a, another project and uh, i'm just pretty much putting this little front end area together now um i was putting on the headlight back because we had to remove the headlight to install this piping it just makes it a lot easier to get it in there the front is looking pretty much done if i had to guess we could probably put the bumper back on um, and I got to put that little bottom piece that goes underneath the intercooler bumper goes back on. Luckily, none of those lights are connected. So it's just, it's literally just bumper and bolts and done with that. The issue I'm having is in the instructions, it says nothing about removing the intake and I need to remove this intake. Now that I remember anytime I boost the car, there are vacuum lines under here, underneath the manifold that if you don't, uh, tie up they will pop off and you will have a huge vacuum slash boost leak and the car will just not run right so i think if you get any little amount of boost in it it just pops those lines off if they're not like clamped on there so i need to go run and get some clamps remove the intake manifold put that back on i do need to add i think it was half a half a quart of oil is what the radiator thing takes now Fill it up with coolant that I just, I caught in the bucket. So we could go ahead and put the coolant back in and I have some extra if we need some. Oh, and then I need to recharge the AC system. So just little things here and there because we did change the condenser with a new one. So recharging the AC system or else you won't have AC. Not that it matters right now that it's cold, but it's better that he takes it, you know, ready to go. So I think, I think we're pretty much done. Like. Basically everything's out of here. There's some bolts and some clamps and some more supercharger oil, but the supercharger says that it has, it has oil in it already. And don't worry about it. You just got to change this little valve with one that comes vented so that the supercharger can breathe. supercharger is done he's taken off it's midnight i'm tired uh but we got it done and he was super excited it's gonna be it's, it's a cool kit this is my first time installing the vortex v3 kit and it had a lot of like little extra things that normally you wouldn't think of and they had it so it was it was really cool to see 
and yeah so that'll be it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed seeing this supercharger install uh it wasn't really like a how-to but it was just more of a me doing it for for someone and getting it done in a day was uh was quite the task but you know i wasn't working at it the whole time so just taking little breaks here and there and we got it done and wow feels nice to sit in the ts this car is gonna be a whole nother project for the video for a whole nother video a whole nother video series this car is probably gonna be like a year or two so getting the gr86 is definitely the move to actually have a car that i can drive while i just get to see this little special edition ts wait for parts so as always if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a thumbs up and uh see you in the next one as always have a great day or night because it's late on. Oh.